Hello wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let's do a fragrance review today from the house of PDM, Perfumes de Marley, all right? I think I have done few reviews on this house based on the sample reviews, which is gonna repeat today as well. Uh, I am sampling a lot lately and I decided not to pull off uh, on full bottles like uh, how reckless I was doing before. And I decided to get backup bottles rather of some of my favorite fragrance, which was running low. Uh, like Dior Sauvage Ultra Male, I actually have purchased a new bottle of Ultra Male because of the upcoming winter and I'll review this because, re-review this fragrance because I have, uh, <clears throat> this has been the reformulated people said and this is a newer batch from, uh, newer uh, <clears throat> place where they used to provide. Anyway, so basically there are some differences, I'll re-review this. But why I decided to do this PDM house today? Because the fragrance itself, it's a... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, the voice is really disturbing. Uh, this fragrance is called Godolphin. Godolphin actually is inspired. I would like to pay some respect and say this house is a niche house, but uh, if any other <laughs> like small houses did that, like like yes, Rasasi did it. If Armov did it, they would call it like a cheap knockoff or a knockoff or a clone. I'm not calling it a clone. I'm calling it an inspired fragrance because it smells very close to Tom Ford Tuscan leather. And when I talk about Tuscan leather, many people have their in their head like, some fragrances are godlike to them like those are their dream fragrances they want to collect in end of their collection or they want to buy it someday some people have aventus which is a very popular name then sometimes tobacco vini like tom ford house then people talk about um let's say some to some people these are other fragrances are really godlike all right um but let's say silver mountain water there is a uh, what millicent imperial you know original vetiver so people always there are so, so many great fragrances people are inspired by those and try to make their version of them all right so yes i'm gonna review it based on a sample from notino this is actually uh i collected from usb page uh ifran bhai from bangladesh is very um he's very reliable source for buying any samples or perfumes you want he can order it for you from overseas and at very good prices so thanks ifran bhai once again for this and uh, these are i bought like four or five recently they're all very good, well priced so yes i'll talk about tuscan leather because tuscan leather is i think is the fragrance that i really want in recent times baccarat rouge is my one of my favorites wood satin mood they are recent you know kind of a uh, finding for me but tuscan leather since i started my journey is my dream fragrance that's that that's even bigger to me uh, than creed's aventus i'm just telling you that's what i love so not everybody feels the same way because not everybody is a fan of uh, leather based fragrances i am i love i think leather notes like leather note used in fragrance is just sexy. If it's dark or brown, whatever leather you're going for or done in a, let's say, like a, the how Dior did, all right? Uh, so anyway, um, let's talk about this fragrance. So Perfumes de Marley, first of all, I have done Ojan and I think I have done, uh, I have, don't remember which ones I did, maybe Harrod I did, based on small samples. So this one, I think I got it just because it's similar to Tuscan leather and I don't mind buying that anything that smells like Tuscan leather, like, even a bit, okay? So I'll show you some fragrance that I own and I'll perhaps do a separate video where I'll compare all the Tuscan leather versus its similar fragrances like Dior Sauvage. So I'll pay tribute, all right? So, <coughs> excuse me. I have a small little sample that I did review from Tuscan leather. It almost ran out. I have just a little bit left in my, this 2ML sample just to sniff it sometimes. And, uh, you know, just remind, remind myself. So Tuscan leather is godlike to me, all right? It has the most beautiful black leather note. Goes on with a little bit of, uh, like uh, people say they get cocaine, <laughs> cocaine note from it. I, I don't know, I never use those drugs or anything. So I'm not a drug expert as you can understand. But yeah, I will talk about it. So first of all, this fragrance and from the House of Perfumes de Marley is very well built, okay? It's very well built, it's beautiful. It is premium. The prices on these bottles, I think bigger bottles, you're looking at something like $200 or less, something like that oh, in world market or maybe more, I'm not sure. But in Bangladesh, I saw some sellers were selling it at first for $120 as low as it. But then they saw the hype and then the, and the price went up. Anyway, so basically you have to pay around like, think of $150, $200, do a budget like that, $150, $180 for a big bottle. And the bottle presentations, presentations are very beautiful. I love their bottles. I do not own any of them because I'm not quite sure which one I want. Most of them are very heavy for winter. So this one, it's a beautiful bottle, golden bottle. I really love it and you'll see it in the introduction. So now let's spray this and talk about it after five minutes of talking other stuff, but I thought those are important. Anyway, so let's try, okay? In this fragrance, you don't need so much. You just need like, uh, this is two ml sample, but you just need like literally one spray to enjoy it, okay? Let's go one spray.
okay there you go one spray done so let the cell now so these fragrance like tuscan leather because this that's the originator it's known for the leather thyme you know they have some raspberry added to the other ones like the clone you know like some of the other clones would be popular would be layu kwampurum this is another godlike fragrance in the community 75 mil goes goes for 75 uh, dollars or something like that like almost 100 dollar for 100 ml value this is one of the biggest fragrance in the community right now i have quite good juice about this much for my upcoming winter i love this fragrance to death this one has raspberry in it beautiful sweet fragrance okay it has literally this one people smell it on you it's addictive and it lasts hell of a long time okay how long top for tuscan leather lasts on me not good and I, I i even though it's a small spray i can tell the quality is there but the performance wise the price ratio this is insanely expensive 300 dollars upwards for 100 ml of tuscan leather but that leather note it is very posh it no one copied this leather note in any of this fragrance you're about to see okay so there is also i really love this i think the godolphin is very close to nabil's arab tradition this one i took off the band so you, if you do not recognize the bottle it's called arab tradition by nabil this is excellent fragrance this is very close to godolphin okay if you're looking for a budget option i'd rather suggest you go for this okay and then i also have something similar to tuscan leather but not quite it's like 60 65 percent you get feel of tuscan leather that is mercedes-benz le parfum so i'm showing all these fragrances there's also golden boy and there's also uh, i think dueto fragrance from them yeah and there's also one montel did i forgot the name montel version they also have one from um, al haramain al haramain has their version is called leather oud okay i am very keen to buy it i will buy it it's also very good okay so then i will do a comparison for the whole so how does godolphin smell damn this smells good guys oh my god look at this look at just the oil concentration i just sprayed it like one to two minutes ago right it's very very good concentration wise very heavy this fragrance last people say it doesn't last on them for a long time it's average perform and whatnot god knows where they're coming from this fragrance lasts eight hours plus even from this small sample because i stay in the ac room this is good for winter but if you find those cooler summer nights i think you can definitely pull it off definitely uh aggressive fragrance but i can see it's a beauty and beast at the same time i would call this a beauty and the beast okay same like tuscan leather i think both men and women would love wearing this who is not gonna enjoy this first of all <laughs> another thing i think some people are not biggest fan of tuscan leather or anything that smells like like leather because not everybody's gonna love everything and some people's the smell of like leather reminds them of tannery like if especially you're living in a tropical country summer based country like it's very hot and humid Trust me, they do not like any leather-based fragrances. I, on the other hand, I have that taste for leather. I dig leather. I dig leather more than tobacco, <clears throat> iris, uh, any other note that you talk about, maybe citruses, you know. I love citrus and leather almost the same. So this fragrance opens up beautifully. It's like very high-class fragrance. You can smell it. There's no synthetic vibe from it. There is so posh opening to it. And it, that note of time, you know, like this is time. The first thing I want to talk about is a time note. You know, time, I don't know if you said time. Yeah, I used to cook with time. You know, I used to cook with like all these ingredients like herbs and real life coriander, some like real greens. You know, I used to make salads and stuff. So I used a lot of these herbs, herbs, herbs. Uh, and uh, I'm very familiar with the smell because, you know, those containers I used to have like a whole bunch in my kitchen. So uh, this fragrance that reminds me of the thyme okay then it has a beautiful beautiful it reminds me also of uh, the fruity notes of mansara okay and which mansara i think there's one mansara that has the beautiful fruity notes yes it has like this one wild fruits okay wild fruits people talk about it's a clone of silver mountain water but the fruits in this you know like the just the fruit fruity notes of it melange of fruits okay that's sweet opening it's more like a melissa imperial clone but nothing to do with this one but if you know of that beautiful fruity opening this one has tons of fruits you pick your fruit you pick up i would pick up something like uh you can imagine it's pineapple you know i i would put it there you know like i can see it's like fruit is pineapple but it's maybe not pineapple <laughs> okay so it's a sort of like a fruity and then green herbal opening with a beautiful beautiful blast i think of something you know uh that fruity blast you know it's just citrus fruit blast in the opening that's what i get and then the leather will start popping up like somewhere in the two hours mark or something like that or maybe like one hour of wearing okay the leather doesn't really touch your nose right away so that cocaine feel that people talk about i never sniffed or tried or seen cocaine in my real life but this one fragrance as i was talking about 
I'm not doing comparison, but I'm telling you, Lyucom is the one I wore the most, okay? This fragrance is animalistic, like Beauty and Beast I was talking about. This fragrance, like in the winter time, leaves a huge central, one spray back of your neck. Anywhere you go, people follow you. They're like, what are you wearing, man? So this one has that beautiful uh, sillage, longevity, projection, you name it, this one has it. There's no weakness in this fragrance, and the, for the price, I love it, you know? That's why I got this one way before Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. So Tom Ford Tuscan Leather here is a lot of, you know, reformulation going on and it became kind of like a from a beast it's kind of like ah eh, kind of a performer but people get good performance still some from some sometimes you know like if you're very lucky with your skin so godolphin very sweet the thyme and the fruity notes and the citrus very beautiful charming classy evening wear sort of fragrance for both genders i think it's not that aggressive it's not animalistic it's very beautiful and it that's why more than Layu Kwam or something, I, it reminds me of Arab creation by Nabil. It smells almost identical. Uh, maybe this is not, this is lacking a little bit of uh, the quality of the perfumes de Marley in Arab creation, but the subtle differences, the price difference, it's just, it's huge. You know, price difference between this full bottle and this, this one you can get $22, okay? 22 bucks you can get Arab creation by Nabil, which is becoming discontinued. If you just don't want to spend so much, you just want to get cheaper feel like cheaper version of tom for tuscan leather but that smells really great this is it this is very fruity very beautiful uh version of raspberry version of tuscan leather and the leather in this is also very beautiful i get sort of like a white leather note from it just like the cap so these two are kind of similar to me so if you're asking me like okay coming to a uh, like a comparison if you ask me which one would I, would I pick i would still say i'll buy all of their all of their similar fragrances that smells like Tuscan leather because I love it so much just like Creed's Aventus clones I love them all I buy so many I got 14 so yeah this I think it would be beautiful it has a little bit more depth it has beautiful depth it's like think of uh, Niagara Falls you know that the water coming and coming down you know all from all angles like a circle you know like a, it's falling and then you hear the sound is like heavy sound of water this fragrance feels heavy it doesn't smell or feel like a lighter wa watery version watered down version that some other clones maybe will give you but this fragrance has good performance, good presence, but the thing is, you know, the projection wise, it's also very good. I'll give it like nine out of 10 for projection. Siage, great. If you have the big bottle, I think if you have much bigger sprays, it will go like this big sprays. Those sprays will last you like a whole, like nights or even like evening wearing, okay? So it will be great for classy occasion, I think. You, you can wait for the clubbing and everything, it will be very sensual, but nights out, you know, like, I imagine a girl, if she's wearing this, she's going with an Uber or a taxi to meet a dude with her, you know, like classy dress, semi-classy dress, or, you know, like cocktail dress, you're going to have dinner, some dancing. Maybe perhaps they're going to go for an intimate date somewhere in a classy hotel or something like that. This is it. If a guy is wearing this, I imagine uh, he would be wearing like a, not tuxedo, but he can wear a tuxedo. It can be wear, maybe good for weddings and stuff, but I would imagine him wearing like sort of like a jacket and then a shirt, white shirt, one butt one button unbuttoned no tie nothing he has wearing like a leather belt watch okay which is good watch it's like a nice looking watch but leather watch and then nice leather shoes this will go perfectly with that and if you have a nice hairdo and everything young guy or like somewhat 25 to 30 i imagine them wearing this very beautiful scent guys you know i'm in love with this fragrance you know definitely full bottle worthy because this is still much cheaper than uh tuscan leather but tuscan leather i always say if you can afford it buy the luxury that you really want okay i would buy all of them you know the ones i love i even buy leather wood right so yes long long talk what else you get in the last stage i think you get some musk you get like typical musk that you get from john Barbados artisan pure maybe or you get from many other you know like the musk is very known the last stage you're gonna get that musk some woody notes and that the leather it will pop up like after two to three hours it will continue all the way last stage this leather will be very faint it will just smell musk, okay? But the fragrance is just phenomenal. It's a beautiful fragrance. I love the bottle. It's 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 a beautiful, pretty bottle, heavy bottle, I think. And uh, how much I would give this? I'll give this nine out of ten. Uh, why is it nine? I'm giving it nine a little bit because maybe it's a little bit on the pricier side. It's a niche fragrance, I understand. And the prices, if it's floating around like hundred twenty dollars that I spend, which I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna find the prices anymore, but. If I spend like 110, 120 dollars, I think this would be one of the best fragrances money can buy for you if you love Tuscan leather. And this is perhaps one of the best leather notes I sniffed in a fragrance in a long time, right? So is it a must buy? 
if you like Tuscan leather, don't want to pay the Tuscan leather price, you can definitely opt for it because the niche quality is there. It's very well rounded, as I told you, it has depth, it, it projects really nicely and this fragrance actually makes you feel, because your hand is away from you, you get whiffs of it every now and then. If it's in cold weather, in the AC room, on the winter, you'll get whiffs of it for a very long time. So the quality, longevity, everything makes it solid 9 out of 10 worthy. Just the price tag is a little bit pricey. But if you have the money, you can go and buy this. Love this fragrance, okay? So that's my review for Parfums de Marley Godolphin. I love that line. You know, I'm a little bit biased towards Tuscan leather. Perhaps other people would give it like 7 or 8. I would give that 9 out of 10. Check out the fragrance and do let me know. Um, if you like this fragrance, it's not really talked about that much by many reviewers, but many people also. But that fragrance right there deserves a lot more love. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.